Da sind die, da sind die. Okay. Hold on. We gotta do some shit. Am I even live? Can't tell if I'm live or not. Am I live? Holy shit. I am live. Oh my god. Am I live? Holy shit. I am live. Oh my god. Am I live? I'm gonna watch myself. Holy shit. <laughs> I am live. Oh my god. Am I live? I'm gonna watch myself. Holy shit. <laughs> I am okay, that's enough. <laughs> Before it gets worse, okay. So it's good to know that I'm live now. That's awesome. I can't even read my fuck fucking text, so that sucks. But uh, I'm pretty sure I can check on my phone here. Yep, I can check on my phone. Oh, let's go! Holy shit! I can check on my phone. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's uh. Let's read this. Ahem. Ahem, ahem, ahem. <clears throat> Shit. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Berry, breakfast is ready. Coming. They misspelled that as ooming. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hello, Berry, Adam. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. <laughs> Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Where's the graduate? Or, huh? I can't read. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. Oh, peace. <laughs> I want to die. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that Fuzz Joe? A little special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm, I'm glad I took a day and hike, hitchhiked around the hive. Oh my god, I cannot read today. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache. Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B-men. Amen. Hallelujah. They fucking high five or something. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. I honestly forgot how to read this part right here. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive City. Graduation class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies. And begin your career at Hunex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it will be like. A little scary. Welcome to Hanex, a division of Haneska. Okay. And a part of the Hexagon group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Honey begins when our valiant pol pollen, fucking pollen, I can't read. Jocks bring the nectar to the hive, our top secret formula. 
is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup. With its distinctive golden glow, you know as honey. That girl was high. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Chromin. What does that do? Catches the little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on the crow man? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's, well, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job, the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How could you say that? One job forever, that's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in one life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar horse on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys are great. You're monsters. You're, you're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jug. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you're wearing it. Hold on, I'm going to test something. Can it see my whole entire screen? Checking the uh, stream. Oh my god, it can. Oh, that sucks. Shit, where was I? And the, lazy, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. A couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah. Once a bear pinned me against a mushroom, he had a paw in my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me with. He was slapping me, okay. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities? I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles? Huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not! We are going, uh, oh my god. We are going 9 o'clock at JGA. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. All depends what, on what 9 means. Or 9 o'clock. Hey, Honex. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. <laughs> you grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of that? Or you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Jeanette, 
or Janet, I forgot how it's pronounced. Your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're gonna be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see, wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's, some, let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antenna. Sh shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth thing and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting. Stunt B. Pouring stir. Front desk. Hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step, step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want me to go to? F you want me to go first? Oh shit! Fuck! You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my! What's available? Restroom attendants open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the crowman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the crowman just closed out. Wax monkeys always open. The crowman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Dead. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life! Oh, this is so hard. Heating. Cooling. Stunt bee. Pourer. Stirrer. Humming. Inspector. Number seven. Lint. Coordinator. Coordinator. Oh my god. Stripe, su stripe supervisor. Might wrangler. Barry. What do you think I should bury? What do you think I should bury? Barry! All right, we've got the sunflower patch in coordinate nine. Okay, or quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out, out where? Out there. Oh no. I have to go, or I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets the roses every day, or that gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Just an, sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always. Watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a, Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies, be a law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts. Check. <laughs> okay, ladies. Let's move it out. Pound those pen pentun petunas. Oh my god. You striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe it. I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. And this is blue leader. We have, ro we have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees. Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. <laughs> Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe a dash over there. Pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Ooh, or cool. Fucking. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. 
Could could be daisies. Don't we need any of those? Copy that visual. Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say it again. You're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. Was it? What is it? What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain. Get out. Get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are, you are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't like, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up honey because you're about to eat it. Yowzers. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back there. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, granny. What are, you, what are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday! Mayday! Be going down! Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check it out. Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Holds out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time, this time, this time, this time, this drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my, my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. Uh, excuse me. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predict global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B! <laughs> Stand back. These are winter boots. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite lines. Stand back. These are winter boots. Oh, man. I love the voice actor. He's really cool. Wait. Don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have, an, have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's just an allergic allergic thing put that on your resume brochure my whole face could puff up make it one of your special skills knocking someone out is also a special skill right bye vanessa thanks vanessa next week yogurt night sure can you know whatever you could put carob chips on there bye supposed to be less calories bye i i gotta say something she saved my life i gotta say something Right, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. Oh, shit, I lost my... It's a bee law. You're not, sus you're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no, do it. I can't. How should I start it? <laughs> you like jazz? No, that's not good. <laughs> you like jazz? No, that's not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. 
Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, these are funny. If we didn't laugh, we cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have. I I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Or I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple of micrograms. <laughs> Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as oh my god, as they they are flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up steps into into the church. The wedding is on, and he says, "Watermelon? I thought you said guatemelon. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke?" That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is in is flowers. Our new queen has elected with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow? Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way! I know that area. I lost a toe ring. What the fuck? There are ones. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe, maybe I'll try that. Oh yeah. Oh, you are right, ma'am. Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you around, or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may we may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge. It's scary. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, Poodle? You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she bee-ish? A wasp? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 no. Not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. Who is she? She's human. No. No. That's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no. You're dating a human florist. We're not Dating, you're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. One ate a stick of dynamite. <laughs> she saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What? Well, uh, what was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingy, so stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon is? No. It's a bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. 
listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. Oh god, my <laughs> my throat's getting dry. Hold on. Let me load up something real quick. Can I zoom in on this? Shut up. There you go. I'll rear back, guys.
And I am back. Got myself, got myself a drink. Got, got myself a drink. And let's continue. Wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Where was I? Yes, but who can deny? The heart that is yearning. There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have, you have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? Oh shit! Where was I? I've got, I've got a lot of big life decisions to, to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Marin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything all set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa! We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to any... He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? Meeting a friend. And girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in, to be in the tournament of roses, that's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowd cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right. I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo. You can't, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? Here, we have HeVo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch our you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anyone. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. Uh, limit. You've, you've really got that down to science. I, I lost a cousin in Italian Vogue. I bet. What in the name of my Hercules is this? How did, you, how did this get here? Olive B, Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta, Private Select? Is he that actor? Never heard of him. Why is this here? For people. For people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Oh, man. This, we're going to be here for a while. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. Shut up. Okay. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Oh, voice crack. <clears throat> you almost done? Almost. 
He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're a busted box, boy. I knew I heard something. You, so you could talk. I can't talk. And now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be launched for Iguana Ignacio. Okay, I can't read that. Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces. They never knew what hit him. And now, they're, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I'm onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. T Tacoma? Okay. And you? He really is dead. All right. I'll go. Uh, uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be dug on clean? How much? How much do you people? Do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bu bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars, as far as the I could see. Oh God! Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I sure wherever this truck goes, is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey is ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito? You in trouble? Nobody likes us. They just smack us. See, they just smack. See a mosquito? Smack! Smack! At least you're out of in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girls don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose Blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Moose Blood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain, the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. I just realized. Look, we're almost like halfway, halfway done with this. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you, you want. Hold on, let me take a drink. Ah, that's some good shit. <clears throat> well, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. Couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. Laughing, laughing, laughing. They make the honey, and we make the money. Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen has moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you get this? How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? 
talking to humans, he has a human girlfriend, and they make out. Make out? Barry? We do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I've dated a cricket once in San, San Ant Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. <laughs> Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to have our honey? Oh, shit. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. The face. The eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. Only place. Hold on. Only place where it matters. High five. Hi, hi, oh my god. Why can I not read today? <laughs> hi at five. The hives only. Full hour action news source. No more bee birds. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger. Sports with Buzz Larvey. And, and Janet. Janet? Oh my god. Janet Ohong. Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble. Bumble and I'm Janet Hong, Ohong. A Tri-County B, Barry B. Benson, intends to sue the human race geez, for stealing our honey, pa packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B. Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing the new book, Classy Ladies. Oh, shit. Wait, I just realized. It's Janet Chung. I hit, uh... There's a problem with the C's here in this whole entire script. Classy ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think? I'm a kid from the hive. I can't do this. Bees have been afraid to change the world. What, what about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? Where I'm from, we never sue, sue humans. We're, we were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. That's a common name. Next week. He looks like you have, Ewan has a show. Ewan has a show. And suspenders and colored dots next week. Glasses quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Bear week next week. They're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pull forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you, Timberland. Size 10 and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has, a, has been a huge help. Frosting and how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bunk bouquets now. Those are great, if you're three, and artificial flowers. Oh, those, get, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a, a default little... The Fodil? Oh my god. That's had work done. Maybe this could make up for a little bit. This lawsuit, a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? I, am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home. <laughs> without paying a royalty. 
It's an incredible scene here in downtown Man Manhattan where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history, we will hear ourselves if, an, if a honeybee can actually speak. What have you gone, gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans still work during the day. You think billion dollar multi, multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just got the chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? I'll arise the Honorable Judge Bubbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4,475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson v. The Honey Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Uh, oh, he says, bzz, 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 bzz. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in topsy-turvy world, Mr. Ben Benson imagines, just think of what would it mean. I would have to negotiate with silkworms for the elastic in my britches. Talking B, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning, for all we know. He could be on steroids, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey is pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're that, we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is, after this is all over, You'll see how, by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but the everything we are. I wish he dressed like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honeyburton and Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. To be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no, because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, Fozzie bear, build a bear. You mean like this? Bears kills bees. How'd you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your crouch, spitting out of your, out through your, out through your pillow, pillow, oh uh, yeah, pillows. Oh yeah, pillows. Guys, I love sleeping on pillows. Pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I? Oh God! Where have I heard it, heard it before? I was with a band called the Police. But you, but you never seen a police officer, have you? No, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human, for nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh please, what? Oh please, have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiot. Mr. L Mr. Loda, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see your res resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil. That's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. 
but is this what it's come to you to for you what it's come to for you exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part to learn your line sir watch it benson i could blow you right now pause this ain't right this isn't this isn't a good fella this is a bad fella why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home order in the court you're all thinking it order order i say say it mr loda please sit down i think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that i think the jury on our i think the jury's on our side after we after we doing everything oh, oh my god i can't read are we doing everything right legal give me a second <clears throat> right, where was I? <clears throat> We're doing everything legally. I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken. Hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tired to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume. And he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. It really isn't. <laughs> you think I don't see what you're doing? I know, I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about. That, what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuss. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I just, I just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember the, what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny. I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. Psst. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug. Not taking sides. Ken. I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is, this is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? And something about like surfing up. Excuse me. Sorry. Surf's up, dude. Ah, poo water. That bull is gnarly. <laughs> Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've ever met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Um... Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. What am I seeing in chat? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. It seems I'm being made fun of for using... <laughs> for using Windows 11. Oh, well. I'm just having fun, because why not? But, uh... Let's continue, shall we? Or was I? Go pie can. And for your information, I prefer sugar sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man man. I'm sorry about all that. I know. It's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. 
Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery it's, is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B. Benson, or Barry Benson B, to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of, our, one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Layton, you got to weave some magic with this jury, or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B., I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends. Oh, wait, hold on. Where was I? Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? <laughs> I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to, the, to all the bee children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're, a illegit you're, an, you're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's, he's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? <laughs> Objection! I'm going to pick cushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy. I am hit. Order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled by a wing beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. Oh my god, hold on. There you go. That's better. Where was I? You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages, stinging the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of the honeybee versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees. Yesterday, when one of the legal steam or team stung Layton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're still you're alive. You could you could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then, and an ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What, what were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in. But they don't hang out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But bees, some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you ready for the tub? Mr. Flamen? Yes? Yes, Your Honor? Where's the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. These are trained to fly hap... What? half -hazardly? Okay. Half as early. And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about... Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of, the, of this entire case. Mr. Flamen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to, oh my god, I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. 
you want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What's this? This harmless little contraption. This, this couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for, for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines? A man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out of our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees. 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 The court finds in favor of the bees. And so they won. Vanessa, we won. I know you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is, un this is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the B-way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we will demand a complete shutdown of all B-work camps. Then, we will, or we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bears as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. We'll have the nauseous for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames. But it's just a prance out about stage names. Unnecessary inclusions of honey and bogus health productions. And la di da human tea time snack garnishment. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups and there's a gallon more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We're, we've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball! We're just, sh we're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Return, returning to base. Adam, you won't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where's everybody? Are they out celebrating? They are home? They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your, un I heard your uncle Oral was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making this, or it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're not doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What do you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically, me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. All, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. <laughs> Take away produce. That affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you. You step twice. You step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa. Oh shit, we are a quarter way down. 
to old, open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rosa's par Parade in Pasadena. They moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I, want to, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Hold on, let me take a drink real quick. God. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. I went up. Um, Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses. Vanessa. Roses? Berry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen? I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry! Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, all my fault. Yes, kinda is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. With the flower shop, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling it. But I have another idea, and it's greater than my precious idea combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, they have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we ought to do is get what they've got back here with, with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. I rhymed. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. they got nothing but flowers, floats, and con candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once aside, we just picked the, the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Where are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. No, not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is fiasco. Hold on. I want to check something real quick. I gotta check that comment real quick, just real quick. Liam O, this shit is so trash. Nobody, no wonder nobody's watching. So unfunny. Liam Mo, nerd using ele Windows 11. That sucks. Who the hell is this guy? Dude! <laughs> okay. Hold on. So this guy wants to go on my channel and say, this is unfunny. He has a whole playlist called Funny Stuff. And one of the videos is called Dog Breed Informities. Another video. An open letter to Swissmas. Another video. Click Ultimate Survival Challenge. The, what? And he watches Hobo Bros. I mean, they're okay at least. I agree with that. And he's a JoJo fan. I don't know why he's attacking me. Come on, man. But he wants to call me a nerd. And yet, he's subscribed to Kobe Person. Fucking Kobe Person. You can do better than that, dude. Come on. Oh, man. What is wrong with you? Okay. I dubs. Right, he's okay. Ninja. Oh, this dude is horny. Ah, oh, that's fucking gross. You degenerate. Dude, come on. <laughs> this whole parade is a, is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without a rising arousing suspicion once at the airport there's no stopping us stop security you and your insect pack pack are oh my god you and your insect pack your float yes has it been in your possession the entire time would you remove your shoes remove your stinger it's part of me or it's part of me i know just having some fun enjoy your flight 
then if we're lucky, we'll have a job. Oh my god. We'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of a bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Excuse me. Captain, I'm, a, I'm in a real situation. What did what you say, Hal? Nothing. B! Don't freak out, my entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dustbuster, a toupee, and a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in the boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JF this is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. And so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got, a giant, it's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly plane. Why not? Isn't it John Travol Tra Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could that be? Barry, wait, Barry. We're headed into the same, some lightning. This is some, this is Bob Bundle. Oh my God, Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incap incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the, in the area and two individuals at, in, ah, in, ah, ah, at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no-account comp computers. Compatters? Oh my god, I need to work on my vocabulary. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard that? Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass don't make no sense. Get this on air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we may, the way we work may be a mystery to you. Making a honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a difference. More than we realize to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, left, right, down, hover, hover, forget hover. This is so, this isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we're on autopilot the whole time. That may not be helping. They, oh, my God, I cannot read today. That may have not been helping. And now we're not. Hold on, let me see if I can. Epic. All right, cool. That's nice. Let me go down. Blah 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 Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may not be helping me. And now we're on not. So it turns out I cannot fly plane. All of you. Let's get behind this fellow. Move that out. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance if it is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings on of the plane. Don't have to yell. We're not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate. Oh my god, my ear. To concentrate with that panicky tone of your in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? 
Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion here? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on, on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring, bring the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on that tarmac? Get some lighting lights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. We're going in on the on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy now. That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? The f that flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower. Made of, fo made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate it around. This... This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachoo? Or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Revert. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. <laughs> woman. Come on, already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Shut up. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where, of course. Where? Of course. I just saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runaway, this runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this, this is our last chance where the po Oh, my God. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychains. Who the fuck said that? Then followed me. Except she keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a fit. I'm a pollen jock. And it's a perfect fit. All I got to do are, are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom. The bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got, I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's a change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. And I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too? I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All, all I needed was a briefcase. Have a good afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order, and I just I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, ba Barry. Can I help who's next? All right. Scramble, jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone, can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10. Everybody wrap it up, guys. I've, I had virtually no rehearsal for that. That, that was it. The entire B-movie script read. Oh my God, I need to drink. Shite. Um, that was fun. Really was. I'm still laughing about that guy who was like, like, shitting on me. About how it's like, unfunny. And he was like, nerdy. But still? 
I don't know. That shit was funny when I looked through his channel and stuff. But, uh, yeah. I guess that's it. So, uh, thank you for the people who are watching. Totally people. Not person. No, 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 no. People. But, uh, yeah. This was fun. It really was, actually. Honestly. Like, I, I was super bored. I have nothing to do. So, you know, might as well. Fuck it. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for, uh, sticking around. And maybe I'll do this again. Probably with the Shrek script. Probably on Twitch, though. So, yeah.